Today we're going to introduce the HTML5 Chart Extensions Console, which is a way to create your own chart types using JavaScript and visualization libraries such as D3, and use those chart types in InfoAssist. Even if you don't have the coding skills necessary to create your own chart type, you can install a chart extension. Once it is installed and enabled, WebFocus makes the chart type associated with that chart extension available in InfoAssist, giving you more charting options. Administrators can install and enable chart extensions from the new HTML5 chart extensions page of the administration console. Chart extensions on this page include chart types created by information builders, as well as chart extensions downloaded from other sites or created by other users. More chart extensions and information about them can also be found at the URL shown on screen. The information builders GitHub site includes the same available extensions that you can install. It also links to a wiki with instructions and recommendations for installing the chart extension and creating your own chart extensions. You can write your own chart extensions using JavaScript and create the visual elements of the extension using HTML, CSS, and SVG. The wiki on the GitHub site includes information on best practices and techniques for writing, configuring, and debugging a chart extension. You don't need to be a developer to take advantage of chart extensions, however. To access a list of pre-installed chart extensions that you can enable, and a list of extensions that you can install for use in your environment, open the Administration Console and, on the Configuration tab, click HTML5 Chart Extensions. This page shows a list of chart extensions that are already installed. To enable an installed chart extension for use in InfoAssist, simply select the Enable checkbox. Notice that once you select it, the Enable checkbox becomes the Enabled checkbox. To enable a chart extension means to make it available for use in InfoAssist as a chart type. Now that the cluster diagram is enabled, it is available in InfoAssist as an HTML5 chart extension. To disable a chart extension means to remove it from the list of chart types available for use in InfoAssist. These two states allow you to deactivate an installed chart extension when it is no longer needed without requiring you to remove it completely from your installation. To install an extension that's not in this list, click Get More Extensions. The Upload and Install Extensions page opens and displays any chart extensions that are available from the GitHub page but not currently installed. To install an available chart extension, click Install. The extension is added to the list of available extensions and is enabled automatically. Keep in mind that the HTML5 chart extensions page does not manage copyright or license restrictions. You are ultimately responsible for the use of any HTML5 chart extension that you upload. Therefore, you must ensure that you have a license or permission to use any HTML5 chart extension before uploading it to this page. You can uninstall a chart extension by clicking the delete icon in the entry for the chart extension. When you receive a message asking you to confirm your decision, click OK. The chart extension no longer appears on the HTML5 chart extensions page. But, if the chart extension was originally downloaded from the GitHub site, it is still available on the Upload and Install Extensions page. You can also use the Upload and Install Extensions page to install zip files that contain locally created HTML5 chart extensions. On the Upload and Install Extensions page, click Choose File. In the Open Dialog box, navigate to the directory and folder that contains the chart extensions. In most cases, it is the folder shown on screen now, where Install DIR is your WebFocus installation directory. But you can retrieve chart extensions from any available internal location or URL. Select the zip file containing the full chart extension package and click Open. The new chart extension moves right onto the HTML5 chart extensions page and takes its place on the list in alphabetical order. If you uninstall a chart extension that is installed in the config directory's web resources extension folder, located at the path shown on screen now, it too goes to the Upload and Install Extensions page. However, if a chart extension is installed in any other location, such as a temp folder, it will not be visible on this page. When you create a chart using an HTML5 chart extension in InfoAssist, all enabled extensions are available from the other chart type under HTML5 Extensions. If you have questions about what fields to use or how to format a particular chart type, take a look at the page for it on the GitHub site mentioned earlier. The ability to create new chart types can open up nearly limitless possibilities for displaying your data. Even if you don't have advanced coding knowledge, you can take advantage of this capability by installing extensions created by other users. To learn more, visit the WebFocus Knowledge Base, where you can search all technical topics and videos.